Shepherd of the Shepherd of the Souls, Savior of the Souls, Lover of the Souls. We are on the Lord's side. As I was saying, I remember those days when we were home, whenever we have a program called Revival. After that program, the church and the people never remain the same again. Mm -hmm. It's always the time the church is renewed. The time for the renewment of the church, the life of the members will be renewed. Though in those days, Sometimes Jamboree people come, do some things, some funny things. But those who know the God they are serving, they are always revived. It's always fire in the church. It's always fire in the life of the people. And today, I could see revival coming to this ministry. Amen. I don't know if people are seeing it since that level clock uh, preaching. My life never remained the same. I've been thinking about myself, thinking about so many things, and I say, Lord, this is a time of revival. And let this revival sweep around the whole world. And I can see the Lord doing it in your very life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, the time has come to hear from you. Father, it's a night with the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It's a night for you to anoint us again for the journey ahead. That, oh God, the march will be a month of flying, not just marching forward, flying forward. Lord Jesus, as we hear your word tonight, the grace to fly forward, to fly over our situation, to fly over circumstances, to fly over things that have hindered us, shall be given to us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Speak to me. I don't know nothing. You know how poor I am. You know how wretched I am. You know how, you know me, Lord, more than I know myself. I beg you to use me tonight again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, let the heaven be open for us tonight. Let, O oh God, the anointing come down tonight. Father, heal us, O oh God, through your word. Deliver us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, tonight I expel every opposing power, every force of darkness, Leviathan spirit, putting people to sleep, not to be able to hear the word of God. I silence you, I bind you out of this congregation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father, because I know you are the mighty God. Amen. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 The exhortation tonight, the topic is God desire your submission. God desire my submission. God desire our submission. God desire the submission of his people. Praise Master Jesus. 
Uh, I've come to understand that situation don't move God. What move God is your submission. No matter your situation, no matter your condition, no matter what you are going through, the Lord can be there. The man will suffer and suffer and suffer and die and yet go to hell. And nothing will move him. He will remain God to eternity. Your condition does not move him. Your situation does not move him. What moves him is your submission to him. What the Lord will see in your life is not your situation. The Bible says, and the children of Israel, they suffer and labor in the hands of the taskmaster. But until they cry unto him and realize that he is their God, they keep on suffering and suffering and suffering and suffering. I don't know what situation you are today. I don't know what is happening in your family. I don't know what is happening around you. I'm telling you, if you don't submit to the Lord and call on him, it will remain that way to eternity. Maybe it has been a trait in your family. It's not like a generational curse. It has been happening. And if you don't break the yoke by submitting to him through the spirit of revival that have come now, it will persist even after you. It has been happening. Maybe four or five generations have died through that situation and they are all in hell. If you and I don't cry to God tonight through total submission, it will remain and other generation will come and be going to hell and it will, it will not move it. You have seen mad people on the streets. They are there. You have seen people destitute. Things are happening. And the Lord remain who he is. I pray that somebody will understand tonight. Situation of a country does not move God. One move God is the submission of that country to him. The ability for you and I to call on him and to tell him, Father, I've surrendered to you. I'm submitted to you. He's telling me right now, tell my children, stop nurturing your situation. I hear you, Lord. Stop nurturing. Stop celebrating your situation. Hey, you see my condition. You are living a life of pity. May we pity you and you enter pit and go to hell if you don't do the right thing. Stop celebrating. Stop nurturing. Stop garnishing your situation. It does not move in. People have seen more than what you're going through. Men have gone through more than what you are going through, and they die in that situation. And God don't say because of the situation, come and enter heaven. No, He will send it to hell. What moving is my submission, your submission, even in that situation. Submitting to God in your situation is what we turn the situation around. Let's see, just just see a place we read just now. In our prayer bulletin, where in, in, in number 64, I said, My creator, please clean away from my life anything, anything that defy which can hinder me from entering your kingdom. And Luke chapter 5, verse 12 was read. And in that Luke chapter 5, verse 12, we read that and it came to pass when he was in a certain, in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy who sees. Seeing Jesus fell on his face and besought him, fell on his face and besought him, submitted to him, knowing he is the only one that can deliver him. This man had been in that situation for long, and if the man had it do what he did. He would have remained, so there were other lepers all around him. But this very man, I don't know that man tonight. I don't know who that person is tonight that would do what this man did. It, it, it paid to submit to the Lord. This man went to Jesus Christ, the only way, the truth, and the life, the only one that can deliver me and you. And besought him, 
falling down before him. The Lord is waiting for somebody who will fall down before him tonight. Total submission in every situation. No one the sister has a beautiful, beautiful for all situation. He's ready to deliver you from that situation if only you can submit to him. And the, you must say, if that will, thou can make me clean. I'm not forcing you, Daddy. I know you are the King of Kings. I, and my situation will not force you to do what you will not do. If thou will, remember what our brother preached in the morning. Not my will. The Lord wants his will to be done in your life. And for it to be done, you must submit yourself to him. And immediately, and he put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. The Lord is willing to our life's will to be done in my life, in your life. But if we will submit to him, if we call upon him and say, Lord, we have no other God, in total submission, is ever ready, is a merciful God, is a is a cherished father. He loves you so much. Even those people who are dying in their squalor, in their poverty, in their wretchedness, are going to have he pitied them. But he will not do otherwise. He is king. No the king, the king of kings, the kings of the earth calling king. So you must go to the king, bow down to him, surrender to him, and cry to him and say, Father, I am tired of this situation. If thou will, not force him to do what you want him to do for you. Surrender it to him. I say, Father, let thy will be done in my life. The Bible says, and immediately the leprosy departed from the young man. That situation will depart from you tonight. Yeah. That problem will depart from you tonight. You know why? Because the king of kings is willing to deliver you tonight. Hmm. Because the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, is willing to deliver me tonight. But who is willing to also fall down before him tonight? Who is willing to swallow his pride? Who is willing to say, Father, you are my all in all? Just as this man did, in the, in the presence of congregation, people were many there. People were, flo people were floating around him. But this man fell down. Say, hey, this situation, I'm tired of nurturing you. I'm tired of celebrating you. And nothing has been done. But today, I will fall down and worship him. I will fall down and I will submit myself before him. And immediately, the Lord did what he will do in his life. There's something the Lord will do in your life. But my pride, and your pride have not allowed him to do it. My pride and uh, your pride have shot in his hand. Remember, pride is a sin. He must say, I am not proud. Look down of in you, and you find out there's something that's still holding you. No, to totally submit to him. Meanwhile, you are garnishing the situation around you. The Lord will deliver me and deliver it tonight. And the Lord will do something new in our lives and will make the people to also submit to him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 17, verse, I mean 7 verse 14, if my people, you are the people of God, the people of God today are languishing in sorrow, in pain, in penury, in, in distress, it's not moved by those things. It has been happening. Right, we read, we said we heard what we read just now. How the people were doing nonsense, people were dying in pain, in penury. Yeah, he said, I will destroy them. In that in that in that state of like those days, people were dying, people were killing people, and those that were being killed were we were, were going to hell in mass. He does not move him. Yes, he was saying, I will destroy them. 
and we kill all of them. But the Bible says one, a person, you can be the rescuer of your family. If you can submit to him, he will draw every other person to himself. The Bible says no I find grace in the presence of the Lord. Grace did not just come like that. If you go back to Genesis chapter 6, we read today. Grace, I'm going back to chapter 7 for him. Is what taking me around now. Noah did not just find grace. He did not just pick the grace on the street. The Bible says in verse 8 and 9. But Noah found grace in his eyes of the Lord. Why? These are the generation of Noah. Noah was a just man and a perfect in his generation. Noah was a just man. Noah was a man even in the midst of perverseness, even in the midst of waywardness. Noah was a just man because Noah recognized God as the Almighty. He submitted himself to him and feared him. Noah feared God. Noah surrendered to God. And through that surrenderedness, he found grace in the, in the presence of the Lord. Do you want to find, find grace in his presence? Grace does not just walk on the streets. Grace in your, in, in your submission. Noah submitted himself to the Lord. Noah was a just man. Noah was a man that feared God. And he found grace in his sight. And the Lord delivered him from that situation that they were. Noah and other six people in his family, I mean, seven people were delivered. Do you want to be delivered tonight? Do you want your family to be delivered? Live as Noah lived. Submit yourself to him. You and your family, through you, we find grace in his sight. And you will be delivered. Praise Master Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Jesus. Who is that just man today? Who is that man who says, Lord, what is being just? Being just is to totally submit to the Lord and run away from sin. People were living in sin. Sin was the water they were drinking in those days. Sin was the food they were eating. They cannot do, do anything without sinning against God. There's nothing they would do without without hurting his heart. But there was a man, even in the midst of all those, all those things, he, he still fear God. Submit to him, knowing that if I fall and die now, I will go to hell. And he found grace in his sight. Praise Master Jesus. It came to pass in the land of Egypt. Thank you, Father. Now, the children of Israel were passing through pain, distress, in the hands of the taskmaster, until they surrender, they remember God and cry to Him. Nothing was done. Your situation does not move Him. I'm saying it again, our situation does not move Him. What moves Him is our submission to Him. The Bible told us in Exodus 2, verse 23. And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel. Sight by reason of the bondage, and they cried, and their cry come up, up unto God by reason of their bondage. They, they remember that if we remember, like if, if we don't cry to this God, we are finished. They submitted their heart to, to, to Him. Say, Father, we have no other God. Come and deliver us. We'll be crying. I mean, we'll be in bondage. But if we don't cry unto him tonight, this bond that you remain until they cry, they submitted themselves to him. If you read further, and the Bible says, and I can see their pain. Ever since I've been seeing them, but until they cry, the Lord did not come down. But the reason of their cry to me, I've come down to deliver them tonight. If somebody will cry sincerely by submitting totally to the Lord, I cry as a father, I have no other hope. Come and rescue me. The Lord will come that night and deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. In yeah. chapter 3, verse 8, say, and I come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians after 
they are crying. Let me read the seven. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in, the, in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmaster of, for I know their sorrows and I have come down. The Lord will come down to me tonight. The Lord will come down to you tonight and deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Second Chronicles 7 verse 14. For if my people which are called by my name. You are a Christian, yes. People know you as a Christian, yes. But that does not mean anything. Christians are still going to hell. Christians are, 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 they are falling into hell by seconds. They die in their situation of, of waywardness, of sin. They still go to hell. They just sang now. And as they were going back home, they had an accident with all the things in their body. They go to hell, but they just send out people and say, Hey, this that man, that woman must go to heaven because of the song she sang just now. Singing does not mean you have submitted, preaching does not mean you have submitted. But thank God for the spirit of revival in our life now. That revival will make us to realize who we are. We be we be cheating ourselves. Be preaching yet you have not yet you have not totally submitted to him. You'll be singing yet sin in your life. The Lord shall revive us and deliver us as we cry to him tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, what is that humility? Humility to if they will submit themselves to me. If they will surrender to me, if they will say, Lord, I am everything to them, if they will run away from sin, if they will catch the fire of revival tonight and pray, don't pray without fear for submitting. You know, some people pray, guy prayer, Lord, I know you are here. Jesus, I know, <laughs> I know you are here. I know you will do it tonight. I know, I know you are God. Just do it. And there's a girl in hotel waiting for him. God, just do it. God, the people are, are here, God, is not moved by those things. You are calling God and a girl is waiting for you in the hotel. And the people are saying, yes, our God is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Meanwhile, the man knows who is calling. But tonight, if we shall call the name of the true God in total submission, my situation will change. Your situation will change. Our lives will never remain the same again. Let us, let us stop calling him in pride. Let us call him in total submission. Let us bury our head in his blood. Let us bury our head. Let, let us give like Mary. The bags and Mary sat in his feet. Mary totally submitted herself and go down to his feet. Not sit down in one executive chair and you are calling on him. You must go down to his feet. That is called total submission. Before you start praying, ask yourself how humble I am to this God. To be humble before him is to run away from what he hates. Yes. Is to run away from those things that he don't want to see around you. And pray and seek my face. Don't seek his face when you are not humble. If we hide his, no wonder you'll be hearing his face from us. I heard what the man was when he was preaching the morning. We'll be crying. Have we not been crying? Yes, we'll be crying. Have we not been praying? Some people have been praying for one situation for six years, ten years, hundred years, how many years, six months, three months. Yet, it remained the same. Why? We did not start from the right point. Humble yourself before him. Not be gentle. I'm not going to gentle before him now. I mean, humble yourself before him by running away from what God hates. See his face. And turn from their wicked ways. Are you not wicked? 
It's not what you carry gun and shoot person. No, that little hatred in my heart is wickedness. That little pride in my heart is wickedness. That little sin in my life to God is wickedness. You cannot call upon when you are wicked and will hear you. He will not hear you. Total submission. Clean your hearts. Hold your hearts. Humble yourself before him. Then we are then. Then we are here from heaven. You can see the reason why you have not been hearing us. See, Mr. Dukbe, you can see the reason why the Lord has not been hearing us. You will cry every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day. And while we are crying, there's something in our heart. I cannot forgive that brother. I want to, you want to lord over other people. You are misusing that your friend. You know what you are doing. And that thing has become a, that, that become a veil, blocking you not to see God, blocking you not to hear from him. He's not even hearing you. You are not hearing him. He's not hearing you. Why? Because of that little sin. Because you have not submitted that part of you. That, that sin is still joining to him. That little part that you have not submitted is the one holding him not to do what you want to do in my life, in your life. Then we all hear from heaven. And we forgive their sin. And we heal their land. The Lord will heal my family tonight. The Lord will heal your family tonight. The Lord will heal us tonight. Just now, my, my younger brother, they are in, in, a, in, a, in uh, uh, Nigeria now. He sent me the picture of the congregation. There are more than 200. Everywhere is Japan. Why? Because of the revival that is going on. People are submitting. Musicians are saying, I don't want to be this kind of musician again. I want to surrender myself to God. They are come to drop their instrument in the church. No, it was buried in the altar. No, that maybe there was a very big miracle of God, but the word of God had pierced into the heart. My brother said, Hey, Apostle, I don't, I can't understand this. So, you know, you mean people actually love righteousness like this? People are leaving their house. Say, Hey, we have heard the preaching of that man of God that came and have left. We want to be a part of this church. People are don't let this make. Don't, we want to make sure hey, what, what about us? We have been hearing the message, the message of Apostle now is not used to us. The message of holy is not used to us, it does not change anything again in our lives. That is the problem. Say it again tomorrow morning. You come and say the same thing. Say it and let us go. We are not used to it, it does not move us anymore. But look at revival. Going on in the those states. I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. The church is full. People are crying. People in on their in their own accord and say, Father, we want to make heaven. But we that have the privilege, every day we have network to connect. Yet we are not used to God. We are not taking him as is is a boy. In uh, it's, it's, it's not a little child, it's following us. No wonder the Bible says, People shall come from the east, from the west, from the north. They will see them, Abraham, under the body. People of the kingdom, they shall be cast away. May that not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. The revival that Apostle Abraham cried for today is going on in the state right now. The fire of revival is burning. But we here, we are not used to him. We are not used to God. We are already holy. We, do, we, 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 we are not who we are. As those church will say, we are, we know, I know myself. You don't know yourself. I don't know myself. If it happened now, if the trumpet should sign up, many will be surprised. And I pray the Lord will deliver me Deliver you as many of us who are now used to God. As many of us, I, I know him. He just I'm talking to myself. He just come and preach the message. What is the message you are preaching doing in your life? 
How submissive are you to the God you are preaching about? Remember those you are preaching to and you that preach the message will stand before him on that day. I say, hey, my brother, what is this? He said, my brother, I, I, I don't, I can't understand this. It's not maybe the year, maybe miracle is going on. No wonder my father told me the other day. Say miracle might draw people, but what will keep them is the word of God. How what is the word of God doing in the life of star charity now? We hear it every day. The man of God has shouting every day. What is the word doing in the life of the man of God and doing in our life? Situation. Still remain, it's still persisting, even while Apostle Manuel is preaching, the situation still remain in his life. Why? Because there's this, there's something that he needs to drop, there's something that he needs to repent of. Maybe I don't know. He's there. And I'm crying this morning and say, Father, I remember what revival used to do in our life in those days. Let that say revival do it in my life now. The fire of revival is burning. What is that revival? Some people don't even understand what happened in the, that 11 o'clock session. If you understand, if you know the, the reason why the Lord brought that, that message called revival, by now, men will be crying for their own soul. This might be the last revival that will move on this month before the trouble will sound. And if you are not sure your situation, God is looking for the, the, the maybe a higher called prophet to run to. When the actual great and greatest God is standing with you, you will miss it. And I pray none of us shall miss it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I want to forgive you and I. You want to heal my family. You want to heal our land. You want to deliver us. He wants to do what no man can do for you, but he needs our submission. Your situation did not move him. You have been in that situation for years. You have no choice the situation. Why not try submission now? Why not try submission? Submission we do. I, I know. Submission we do. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible told us in Joel chapter 2, verse 23. Joel 2, 32, rather. And it shall come to pass, and whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Whosoever. Let a man from Afghanistan submit to, to him and call upon him. He will, he will hear him. Is the God of all, whosoever shall call upon his name shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be delivered. As the Lord has said, and in the and the remnant whom the Lord shall call, the Lord is calling them every day. But are they are they are they answering? Even the answer, the answer with pride. They still carry along that same character. The character we have when we when we are in the world, we have not dropped it. Those envy we used to have when we are doing prostitution. We see your mate have. Carry four men. You are seeing one. You'll be ah, envy and jealous in your heart. Today, that's a spirit is still following you, even when you're a Christian. You better drop it now. You better drop it so that it will hear you when you call upon him. That's why our brother David says, not just so. Not just so. You know, everyone are calling out, crying. If you go over and you see churches all over the world crying, it's not all of them that is hearing. Psalm 145 verse 18. The Lord is near unto all them that call upon him. To all that call upon him in truth. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. To all that call upon him in truth. In total submission. In total readiness to serve him. To worship him. To say, Father, you are everything. To him, no wonder Abraham Abra, James says in James chapter 4 verse 7, Submit yourself therefore to God. 
What God needs for Apostle Manuel now is total submission. Submit yourself to God. Once you submit yourself to God, all the demons, all the power that will submit to you is, is a natural phenomenon. As you are submitting, that situation is also submitted to you. As you are obeying him, that situation is obeying you. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. How can you resist when you are not submitted? Your resistance is in your submissiveness. Please, Master Jesus. And he will flee from you. Praise, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, we're going to be praying tonight. There's a lot to say. But I don't want to keep you too much. Because the Bible says a word just a word is enough for the wise that man did not nobody was preaching to him but he only saw him in that Luke chapter 5 verse 12 and bow down to him if you can see him tonight through the through his word and also bow down he will do what he need to do in your life are you ready to stop nurturing that situation, garnishing it, and submit yourself to Him. Check that part of your heart that the Lord needs to send this fire of revival to. That part that still have jealousy, that part that still have envy, that part that still have little pride, that part I don't know. I know I can only know myself. Maybe if God give me opportunity to see little about somebody, then I can see. But you know yourself. You know the part of you that you need to submit to him, that you are still dragging to him. With him, rather, if you can submit it to him tonight, the Lord will also submit the power of healing, submit the power of restoration, the power to, to there will be change in your life and your family. And my life, your life, will not remain the same again. It takes wisdom to submit to God. It takes wisdom. The Lord Jesus Christ was so wise. No wonder it's, it's, it's wisdom itself. He submit totally to his Father. And uh, believe you me, no situation was able to stand before him on earth yet. Yeah? It, not even now that he's been glorified. When he was on earth, nothing was able to stand him. Why? Because he totally submitted himself to him that called him. But today, it is a little anger in the in the Apostle Manor. It is a little things that is not supposed to be there. He's still there. But today, that spirit, whatever there is that will make me to be a hindrance to you. That little thing in my life will make it to call the mountain and start crying and crying. They so, are ah, because of the he that I put as a watchman is not totally submitted to me because of that little thing. I will not answer the rest tonight. I will cry to him so that I will not go to hell because of hindering you. Man of God can be a hindrance to the people around him because of he's not totally submitted. And you also can be a hindrance to your own family because you are not totally submitted to him. But tonight, if the men of God on this mountain, we totally search ourselves. We might think we are holy before now. Maybe because some part of us is holy. We think we are not holy. No, no, there's still something, that little thing. Remember, I said, I will not share my glory with any man. You are still... You are still sharing the glory of God for your life with, with yourself. If I, Apostle Abraham, Apostle Peter, by Dennis, and the rest of us, all the workers of this, this mountain, we actually come down tonight. Need that our that exotic city we get to ourselves in our hearts and come down tonight. I say, Father, there's a, there's something this man said today, Apostle Abraham. So we be come here and crying every day and nothing's been done. Father, am I the one hindering these people? Jesus, am I the one putting these people in long-term suffering? 
please deliver me. Save me from that sin. Is it presumption sin? Is it unknown sin? Is it pride in my heart? Is it what is that in my life, Lord? Search it out and break it out of me. It's high time people of God stop suffering unduly. People are in bondage because of some people. The family that are supposed to be delivered, the Lord has pulled you out from the world so that through you, He will deliver your family. Yet, that unforgiveness has not allowed Him to do it. That pride has not allowed Him to do it. You know it. I know it. Let us search ourselves tonight. I say, Father, let the fire of revival burn from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. And it will burn and burn away anything in our lives that will not allow us to see greatness of God in our lives. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, yeah. Are you out there? You are not born again. You are not in the land yet. The fire of revival cannot burn you. Revival means people who were dead before that fall. God wants to revive them. Revival is for the Christians. They born the Christians, not the unbelievers. They don't. Need, they don't need revival. They need to come to Him. It's we that need revival. Can you search yourself now and ask yourself, where do I need revival in my spiritual life? You are out there, you are not born again. I want you to come out tonight. Tonight, my bid last night, you will ever hear a message that is in the after now, the trumpet my sound. Where will you find yourself? After me, is the message I've touched you and you are willing to surrender to him tonight. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word tonight. I have been a wretched sinner dwelling in the far country of iniquity. But tonight, the word has touched me. I realize how wretched and foolish I have been. Have mercy upon me. Wash me clean with your blood. Purge me from every wretchedness. I come to you tonight with all my heart. I surrender to you, Lord. I accept you tonight, Lord, as my Lord and personal Savior. Please take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. Father, I am born again tonight. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for having mercy upon my life. Thank you, Father, for sending your word my way. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for pulling me out of hell. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And amen. If you have declared this declaration, I rejoice with you. The Lord Jesus Christ himself is rejoicing and all the holy angels in heaven I celebrate you, your victory over sin tonight. I pray with you. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I worship your name. I thank you for the life of your son, your daughter that have heard your word tonight. The word you spoke to your children. And the hell is out there from the far country of, his, of sin. And they have decided to surrender to you tonight. Lord Jesus Christ said your word. If anyone will come to me, let him deny himself and carry up his cross. Father, the grace go to totally deny themselves. For whatever the thing they were enjoying out there, give it to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that this one that have come to you tonight, they will never go back again to, to sin. But this can only be possible through your grace. That grace you give to Apostle Paul. He said, my grace is sufficient to you. Let us in grace. 
be given to them tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Father, I ask, oh God, on the last day, just our their salvation that is given joy to heaven. Father, they will joyfully enter your kingdom with mm -hmm. every one of us on this mountain. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. That was for people who need aromates to enroll into what we are right now, into the race to heaven. They are going to be enrolled. Not many of us have been enrolled a long time ago. And I pray, Lord, we help us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, when we pray, you've heard the word. You've seen some of the reason why things have been the way they are to us. Said, I'm not moved by your situation, I'm moved by your submission. You ask yourself, where have I not totally submitted myself to the Lord? Where is that corner of my life, of my heart, that is still in charge? That whenever it speaks up in my life, maybe anger, maybe envy, I don't know, maybe that little thing. Whenever that is spring up, it, it becomes the, 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 the Lord of your life at that point. That part of you needs to die tonight. Mm -hmm. I mean, you only die when you say, Lord, kill it for me. Kill that part in my life. I still take charge over me in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Open your mouth now. Please, before we go there, well, I believe some people have, might be sleeping now, even when this world is so hot, the word of God is so hot, it's so hot this way. It's tricky. I want, um, it's a, uh, if you know you're not sleeping, please unmute your mic. God bless you. Just to know that the word that was coming was not just on the ground. Please, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Some people come to the online just to manage with time. To keep company with some people. But Lord is looking for people who submit themselves to him and to pray and call upon him. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I, I don't also blame some people because of the work in the daytime. The over, the over. Even if not go there, go there, go there, go there. The night they will be tired. I pray the Lord will make life easy for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I want you to pray, say, Father, that part of me that need to die out of me, I surrender it to you tonight. Let me die. In the name of Jesus Christ, open my heart. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I surrender.